Hello and welcome to another vlog every day in April. Today, I'm using a different camera lens, if that's not clear. This is weird for me. This is my normal shooting lens. Uh, I also have this, which is my like original kit lens from when I got my Canon EOS Rebel XT a long time ago. So this lens is in terrible shape. It's not very good. It's got the jumpiest little like to zoom in, it's like, ah, it grabs all over the place. The focus ring grabs too. But I love this lens. It's very light. It's very versatile. It's an 18 to 55 uh, millimeter lens. Uh, and yeah, it's fine. It's plastic, but it's fine. This is my newish lens, my most recent lens purchase, which is a 10 to 22 millimeter lens. Now, here's what those numbers mean. It's, it's basically how wide you can see. So this is a wide angle lens, 10. You can see like right, basically right, there's like a cone that comes out like this around the, the camera. So it sees a lot, especially when it's a 10. And that creates uh, some distortion and it's a little bit of fisheye kind of look to it. And then when you get to 22, that's pretty much doesn't have any fisheye and it, it's still fairly wide, 22. Um, this goes from 18 to 55. So with these two lenses together, I can go from 10 to 55, which is good. I also have an 85 to 200, which is a telephoto lens for taking pictures of things that are far away, like birds usually is what I'm taking pictures of that are far away. Also sometimes like wedding photos are really good with that zoom lens because you don't have to get right up in people's faces and you can get like a depth of field thing going on like I'm doing right here uh, with, the, with the blurry background because those are wedding photos with a blurry background, man. If your, if your wedding photos don't have a blurry background, then I, you're not even married, frankly. So I love this lens. It's super great, not just for taking videos of myself, uh, for a couple of reasons. This is an expensive lens, by the way. Uh, but it's also great for like being in Europe and taking pictures of buildings, because you can get, like you know what? To take a picture of a building with a 50 millimeter lens, is what I'm using right now, you have to get really far away uh, and oftentimes you can't get far away from buildings because there's other buildings or interior shots also. Like, it's hard to take a picture of the inside of something uh, that captures all of it if you don't have a wide angle lens. This, though, that I'm using on the camera right now is a 50 millimeter lens. And you'll notice that I'm doing this and I'm not even touching the camera. I usually can't do that. This thing is right up in my face when I'm filming. Right up, like this far away. And now, so this is how close I am to the lens. I'm still coming, still coming, still coming. Now I'm there. You can't see me, but. So there, there are a couple of, of advantages of using a wide angle lens uh, like this one. One, I'm using right now, you'll notice the sounds a little bit bad in this video. I'm using right now a camera mounted mic. And the farther away that mic is from me, the worse I sound. But if I had a lav mic, which is a little thing that you pin on yourself, it would be fine. That's why a lot of people use lav mics. This does not have a focus ring on it. So if I wanted to move the camera closer or further away from me, uh, I couldn't just twist. I would have to actually physically move the camera closer or further away from me, which is fine. There's nothing wrong with that. But this lens, 50 millimeter lens, it's an inexpensive lens that has great, uh, it, uh, like a really wide aperture, which means it can open very, like its lens, it's like iris opens very wide. And that allows for this shallow depth of field thing that's going on here, like, I'm blurry, I'm in focus, I'm blurry again, ah, that's the, called the shallow depth of field. People like that. It's the sexy wedding photo that lets you know you're married. And this kit lens uh, for my old uh, camera doesn't really do that. Now it's great to have a cheap lens that you can throw around and just stuff places and I don't even put the lens caps on it correctly anymore uh, to be able to, you know, have a crappy lens that can do like grunt work. Whereas this uh, is much better at taking like cinematographic kinds of things, which is sort of why I'm doing this test right now because I'm going to LA and I'd like to film some people uh, doing, uh, talking about stuff and have it look like a pretty sexy looking interview. So yeah, that's camera lenses, man. Now you know all the things you needed to know about, except this has been a terrible introduction, but I got to test out my lens. So that's all that matters to me on this vlog every day on April day. I'll see you next time. Bye.